Military technology has evolved dramatically over time. A century ago, the conversation was centered around the arrival of the first tanks. Today, however, we have drones capable of destroying targets within seconds and without the loss of personnel. To counter these advanced threats, new defensive technologies are emerging, just like the Gepard. Before we delve in, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new upcoming videos. Now, let's explore this drone-killing beast. The Gepard is a self-propelled anti-aircraft system, which gets its name from the German word for cheetah. It was initially created by German engineers to strengthen NATO's air defenses during the Cold War. Over time, the Gepard has developed into a crucial asset in modern conflicts, including the current Ukraine-Russia conflict. Its adaptability and power make it a formidable weapon system. The Gepard's main weapons are its twin 35mm Orlikon KDA autocannons. These cannons are equipped with two types of ammunition. The first type is the High Explosive Fragmentation Incendiary Rounds, which are used mainly for anti-aircraft purposes. Each round measures 35 by 228 mm, which is almost the same length as a standard ruler. The second type of ammunition is the Frangible Armor Piercing Discarding Sabot Rounds, which are used to take down armored targets. These rounds are larger than the High Explosive Fragmentation Rounds, measuring 35 by 256 mm which is roughly the length of a large kitchen knife. With an impressive firing rate of 550 rounds per minute for each cannon and an effective anti-aircraft range of up to 4.5 kilometers, with specialized rounds, the Japar can unleash a devastating barrage against aerial targets, firing 20 to 40 rounds in a typical engagement. This firepower makes it particularly effective against low-flying aircraft, helicopters, and, as seen in Ukraine, drones. The Gepard's sensor and fire control systems are equally impressive. Equipped with an S-band search radar at the rear of the turret and a Q-band Doppler tracking radar at the front, the Gepard can effectively locate and track targets up to 15 kilometers away. Some models are also fitted with a laser range finder, enhancing accuracy. Notably, the Dutch variant features Philips radars, recognizable by their bar-shaped search radar providing higher resolution images. Mobility is another key aspect of the Gepard. Built on the chassis of the Leopard 1 tank, it boasts excellent cross-country mobility, allowing it to keep pace with armored forces. Powered by an MTU-830 horsepower diesel engine, it can reach speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour with a range of 550 kilometers on roads. Its operational readiness is further enhanced by an auxiliary power unit ensuring the system's radars and weapons can function even when the main engine is off. Protection-wise, the Gepard steel armor safeguards it against 14.5mm rounds, small arms fire, and shell splinters. Its fully armored design, complete with a nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system and smoke grenade dischargers, ensures crew safety in diverse combat environments. Throughout its service, the Gepard has been adopted by several countries including Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands. Its high cost, roughly three times that of a Leopard 1 tank, limited its export. However, with changing global defense needs, it has found new life in modern conflicts, demonstrating its enduring value as a reliable and potent defender of the skies. The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has left many people in disbelief. In this battle, drones are playing a vital role, causing unimaginable damage. Russia's use of drones in the conflict with Ukraine has been extensive and varied. On one occasion, Ukraine's Air Force reported shooting down 21 out of 28 Russian drones aimed at the south and east of the country, indicative of the scale of usage. These drones, used for both reconnaissance and offensive operations, range from smaller, commercially available models to larger, more sophisticated UAVs, like the Orlan-10 and the Iranian-supplied Shahed-136 Kamikaze drones. The deployment of these drones in large numbers presents significant challenges for Ukrainian defenses. They not only provide Russia with critical intelligence, but also serve as effective tools for targeted strikes. The Shahed-136 drones in particular are designed to loiter and then dive into targets, making them difficult to intercept with traditional air defense systems. This strategy of overwhelming Ukrainian defenses with high volumes of drones complicates the tactical response and strains resources 
while also imposing a psychological toll on both military personnel and civilians. The Gepard anti-aircraft system has played a crucial role in countering drone threats in Ukraine, particularly against Iranian-built Shahed Kamikaze drones used by Russian forces. Ukrainian troops have reported the effectiveness of the Gepard in detecting and neutralizing these drones at distances up to 16 kilometers. Moreover, the Gepard is also cost-friendly compared to some of the anti-air defense ammunition that could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars per round. Given the low cost of these drones, it is not worth wasting expensive defense capabilities to counter them. The system's twin 35mm cannons, capable of unleashing a barrage of shells, have proven to be a significant tool against various low-flying aerial targets, including drones and cruise missiles. On the night of September 7, 2023, in Odessa, southern Ukraine, the Gepard demonstrated its remarkable capabilities. During this incident, it successfully shot down two Shahed-136 and 131 attack UAVs, underscoring its effectiveness in real combat situations. In another significant operation, on September 26, 2023, Ukrainian military personnel using the Gepard successfully shot down 26 out of 38 Russian Shahed Kamikaze drones during a night attack. This operation was also recorded and released by the Ukrainian Air Force, demonstrating the precision and effectiveness of the Gepard against drone attacks. Germany has sent 46 Gepard systems to Ukraine, with an additional six planned, in order to protect the country's airspace from Russian drones and other airborne threats. However, finding ammunition for these systems has been difficult due to the Gepard's retirement from German military service about 15 years ago and Switzerland's neutrality policy, which restricts ammunition exports to conflict zones. To address this, Rheinmetall in Germany has modified existing 35mm ammunition for use in the Gepard and restarted production delivering the first batch to Ukraine. As we look to the future, the role of systems like the Gepard in modern warfare cannot be overstated. With the landscape of conflict continually evolving, the demand for versatile and efficient anti-aircraft solutions is on the rise. The Gepard, with its proven track record, sets a precedent for future developments in military technology. Experts are now looking at ways to further enhance such systems integrating advanced AI and machine learning for improved target acquisition and decision-making. This evolution reflects a broader shift in military strategy, where traditional and emerging technologies converge to create more effective and adaptable defense mechanisms. In this context, drones and anti-drone weapons are not just shaping the current battle, but are redefining warfare globally. The increasing reliance on drones for surveillance, combat, and strategic operations worldwide underscores the shifting dynamics of global conflicts. Thanks for watching.